So what is going on everybody welcome back and in this video let's just take a look at how we can use SAS inside Next.js and SAS is basically for those of you who don't really know it's sort of a uh, you know just like how TypeScript is for JavaScript SAS also adds a lot of power to CSS and compiles towns to CSS only so Next.js supports SAS natively you just have to go ahead and you know just just rename we're not going to rename the global file. We just can rename the component one. And what I'm going to do is import it just like this. And that's it. That's all we need really need to do. I guess if we could just refresh, restart the server once, that would be awesome. And if we go ahead and refresh it, we are probably going to see. I think we have. Yeah, I guess we need to install SAS first. That's that's the only thing we need to do because next year's won't really ship with sas and i'm just gonna save it as a development binary also because we don't really need sas on production anyway so once we have that i can run dev again and we should be up and running in no time so if you go ahead and refresh it now you can see that we get still the same behavior but now with the scss that is a sas file the benefit of this well to start with you can now nest the styles so i can say this is color red and if i go ahead and write a span here and i say i am red and see so we can get red here and heading like that and it just nicely compiles down to our css but it is much more maintainable when you're using sas well you get support for everything now the sas variables um you know if you want to create some sort of duplicate styles over and over so you can write a function in sas you can loop over stuff so all that stuff but for the most part you're just gonna make use of the nesting a lot so that is that is what it is sas ships out of the box as well sas support shifts out of the box as well with next.js you just need to install the sas package and you are done so that's that's pretty much it for adding the SaaS support to our applications as far as I'm concerned because Next.js other than that inside of the CSS moduling system follows the same thing as inside the SaaS moduling system follows the same thing as CSS one that is you need to make use of you need to end your CSS files with that dot module dot SCSS and so on and so forth. So that would be all for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.